The dark truth about ice cream and potato chips, they are as addictive as drugs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating and sometimes scary world of science. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about a topic that might shock you. Ice cream and potato chips are just as addictive as cocaine or heroin. Yes, you heard that right. According to a new research published in the BMJ, ultra-processed foods, or UPFs, are just as addictive as nicotine, cocaine or heroin, and more than 1 in 10 people are hooked on them. UPFs are foods that have been heavily modified from their natural state, and contain high amounts of refined carbohydrates, fats, salt, sugar, additives and preservatives. Examples of UPFs include sausage, ice cream, biscuits, soft drinks, and sugary cereals. But how can these foods be so addictive? And what are the consequences of consuming them? Let's find out. First of all, how do we define addiction? Addiction is a condition in which a person has a strong and uncontrollable urge to consume a substance or engage in a behavior, despite knowing the harmful effects. Addiction is usually caused by changes in the brain's reward system, which is responsible for regulating pleasure, motivation, and learning. When a person consumes or does something that triggers the reward system, such as eating chocolate or playing video games, the brain releases a chemical called dopamine, which makes them feel good. However, over time, the brain adapts to the repeated stimulation and reduces the amount of dopamine it produces. This means that the person needs more of the substance or behavior to get the same level of pleasure. This leads to tolerance, dependence, and withdrawal symptoms. Now, how do UPFs affect the brain's reward system? Well, according to the researchers who conducted the analysis of 281 studies across 36 different countries, UPFs have a unique combination of refined carbohydrates and fats that stimulate the reward system more than either macronutrient alone. This means that UPFs can trigger a surge of dopamine followed by a rapid drop-off, resulting in a cycle of craving, binging, and crashing. This is similar to what happens when someone uses drugs like cocaine or heroin. Moreover, UPFs can also affect other brain regions that are involved in decision-making, impulse control, memory, and emotion. For example, UPFs can impair the activity of the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for planning, reasoning, and inhibiting impulses. This can make it harder for people to resist their cravings or stop eating when they are full. UPFs can also activate the amygdala, which is responsible for processing emotions such as fear and stress. This can make people more vulnerable to emotional eating or seeking comfort from food. So, what are the consequences of being addicted to UPFs? Well, there are many negative effects on both physical and mental health. For instance, UPFs can increase the risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and premature death. UPFs can cause cognitive decline, depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. UPFs can interfere with social relationships, work performance, and quality of life. As you can see, being addicted to UPFs is not a trivial matter. It can have serious implications for our health and well-being. But don't worry. There is hope. There are ways to overcome this addiction and break free from the grip of UPFs. Here are some tips to help you. Be aware of your triggers and patterns. Identify when and why you crave UPFs, and what emotions or situations trigger them. Gradually reduce your intake of UPFs. Don't try to quit cold turkey. Instead, cut down on the amount and frequency of consuming UPFs. Replace UPFs with healthier alternatives. Choose foods that are minimally processed and contain natural ingredients. For example, instead of ice cream, have yogurt with fresh fruits. Instead of potato chips, have nuts or popcorn. Control your portions and environment. Limit the amount of UPFs you buy or keep at home or work. Use smaller plates or bowls to serve yourself. Avoid places or situations where you might be tempted to eat UPFs. Seek support from others. Talk to your family, friends, or health professionals about your struggles and goals. Join a support group or online community where you can share your experiences and get advice. Remember, you are not alone in this fight. You have the power to change your habits and reclaim your health. 
That's all for today's episode of Science Telly. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more science videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions on this topic. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.